All right, here we are. First video of Gaming Month. I am very excited for this whole month. I mean, we've got so many cool games lined up, and I'm ready to get into it, but I'm really excited about this game, Man Eater, where we are going to be playing a shark, kind of film by film crew, but also having this sort of nemesis relationship with a shark hunter at the same time. So I'm really excited for it. If you are as well, hit that like button, pack your tackle boxes in. Let's get into the first video of Gaming Month, everyone. It's Meanwhile, aboard the Cajun Queen, Pierre LeBlanc, known by his fellow anglers as Scaly Pete. Daddy on the sharks. I on sharks. It's in the blood. There was somebody better at this, you'd be following down, yeah? Well, people got a lot of wrong ideas about sharks. So I had to say how we gotta coexist. Now, how you gonna coexist with that shark, huh? Shark <laughs> just wanna do one thing. That's kill you, eat you, and you out. What I do, I consider a sacred honor. Kill them all if I could. Too bad, and for 24 hours to a day. Shark spotted in Fatik Bayou. Uh. Several deaths reported. Shark can be identified by Rusty Harpoon embedded in flank. Get the f out of my way. Got a job. So this is what I mean by a film crew is kind of filming the fish, you know, the shark hunter there. And we are playing as the shark here, and so you get to see kind of both perspectives throughout the game and it's really cool and the narrator is very funny so uh it'll be interesting to see us battle for uh audio here the muscular marvel confidently moves through its watery world it is pretty cool to see underwater you know live this kind of oceanic life as a shark it's beautiful and also very dirty the Predator's 350 fearsome teeth are put on full display. Yeah, they are. Ooh. Water vessel. Come here, my, my. You can click to chop or you can grab hold and then shake. That also kind of thrash damage. Wah! Whipping them, whipping them. The shark's behavior is tailor-made for media sensationalism. A shark fan is a sinister reminder to humans that the ocean remains a wild and untamed domain. Gotta love that. Jaws. It's like Jaws. You get the Jaws me. Dun dun. Dun dun. Dun 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 dun. Jump while knifing. Here we go. The bull performs an acrobatic feat worthy of an orca. Cruelly display in a marine park beautiful a breaching shark is a rare and calorie intensive spectacle <laughs> oh my god we sent that dude flying like 50 yards the only shark cares to see at this seal Completed the tutorial here. So I was kind of taken aback when I first played this because I thought that I would have more customization uh, as I started the uh, story here. You start out as this big, big shark, which kind of throws you off, but it's not so unfortunate because it's just kind of giving you a chance to get an idea of how the game works or the rest, the, the real game, I should say. Gets into effect and jump up onto the beach and do some damage as well. <laughs> it must be emphasized that this sort of targeted violence is quite unusual for a shark. All right, so now that we've gotten some attention, it's kind of like uh, Grand Theft Auto in the way that you get some attention, and then the, you know they send in some hunters after you. Then you need to tear up the hunters. That's what we are doing now. Do damage to the boat. You kind of dodge and still do damage to people. Dodge 
diver. I cannot imagine being a freaking diver after a shark. That's just crazy. You idiot! The last boat. So here we're getting our first run in with old Scaly Pete. Let's get her up on deck, huh? Didn't get it much of a chance at all. On board the Cajun crew, Scaly Pete looks over the catch of the day. <sighs> yeah, this my daddy's on all right. This ain't the shark. Not the one I was looking for. How do you know? How I know? Not big enough. This look like a mega to you. Jeez. Oh, oh looky here. She's off for me. Hello. It's a big baby. Your mama in there. How's your mama in there? Well, why won't you do that? So I can identify next time I see her when I spear her. Jesus. <laughs> the tiny pup responds with an instinct for survival. You never want to turn off that gun. He's handling that remarkably well. I can't say I would be so quiet about losing my uh my hand. Yeah, slap that fishing rod. I mean, it's a cool show, to be quite honest. I'd watch it, I guess. But here we go. This is what I've been talking about. This is our true first start. We're a tiny little baby bull shark. We're going to start it right off by eating Scaly Pete's hand. Yeah, boy. This big game hunter once posited that after an animal had tasted human flesh, it forsakes its natural prey in a deadly single-minded search for the most dangerous game. So this is our start. Basically from here, we've got lots of different options, but we're going to have to start off by doing some missions just to get a little bit bigger, eating some fish and whatnot. We can hit the radar button, which gives us a look what all is around us, I guess. Well, we can gather up these locations. Which are pretty cool. Planning a cemetery, try to avoid high risk coastal areas. All of these locations are kind of humorous in their own way as well, so I do look forward to gathering them all because uh, some of them are, are pretty funny. We can take a look at the journal. This kind of gives us an idea of what our story mission is. We got different collectibles and caches we can, uh, you know, gather throughout the whole bay. And then at different locations, we've got similar things. But something you might see is that some of these uh, different locations and you know, if you gather all of the caches and collectibles, you do get some special stuff, such as this one where you get this protein digestion mutation as well as down here where you get the atomic head and it's different things like that that really alter your shark to be uh something a little bit more than natural but one of the biggest things about every single location is that you have a grotto which allows you to upgrade your uh, shark and whatnot apply new mutations and also just kind of give you a place of refuge it's here in the grotto that the shark can discover the absolute serenity deep within her soul 
And we got the swamp tours down here with the alligator. <laughs> but here we go, evolution screen. This gives an idea of what we uh, look like, the different things we can apply to each other. So here we have the tiger body. You can go ahead and apply this and it gives us a little bit of a, a difference here. We'll get plus 5% fats, proteins, minerals, and mutagens, which is gonna help us out getting bigger. And then we do have this advanced sonar, which will allow us to find things faster as well. Now that we have these, it should be a little bit easier for us as we're trying to get bigger. From this screen, we can also see the infamy ranks. This comes in handy as you start to kill more people and be more of a nuisance, I suppose. They'll be sending out hunters for you. And here gives you a screen of the different hunters you're gonna be sending off to make a, uh, make a meal out of us maybe we got bayou willie bobby bojangles we got pookie paul candy man curtis ends and tyler dixon butcher boy brady lieutenant shannon sims mama maybell commander percy metcalf and then captain robert brunlett once we defeat those people as you probably saw we'll be unlocking different perks different mutations which we can apply to our shark as well now from the map here we can see the different uh missions that we have available so we might as well Click on one of these mad lads to track and get out and uh, try to complete some missions to get a little bit bigger. Oh, I see a license plate. There we go. One license plate down. Time to eat some catfish. Catfish is on the menu. Oh boy, there's an alligator here too though. We're going to have to be kind of careful about that guy. Oh geez, we are not doing well. We're going to have to be kind of careful about that guy. That wasn't a good start. We're gonna try to eat as many catfish as we can without getting killed by a alligator. Many places see more human fatalities caused by giant catfish than sharks, such as the Amazon Basin or Splash Mania Water Park in Garland, Texas. The overhunting of fought tics All right. predators has led to a super abundance go. of catfish, which is just fine by local bully Rosie the Alligator. The Bayou Goodness the gracious, area. look at that thing. Reaching level two. Let's go. Time to go take care of some muskies, I guess. I don't know what muskies are doing in the swamp, but we are going to make sure that they're no longer in the swamp. Jump over this. There we go. Dodging. Doing some damage. Despite being three levels larger than me, doing absolutely nothing. Yeah, loser. It's a freshwater fish commonly found throughout the Great Lakes region, so I have no idea what it's doing. <laughs> I'm just glad they're also aware that it's not supposed to be here. <laughs> oh, what do we got here? New location. I have one of those new pop-up tub stoppers at home. And let me tell you, those things are just a magnet for hair and debris. All right, so two missions down. We're at level three now. Still continuing to get bigger, I suppose. Got more options here. Let's go ahead and deal with some more muskies, shall we? I think our guy's up here. Ooh, there's a gator, too. That's not good. <laughs> I don't like that. Oh, shoot, he's following us. There's a chest down here, though. We'll get that and level up, maybe. Yeah, baby, let's go. Quite a strange conglomeration of stuff will end up in the stomachs of sharks. Do you think we lost it if we can just kill this thing now? Oh, it's back. At least we got the musky, though. That's what matters. And we are out of here. <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh. Got safety class. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh god, now we got an alligator here too. Bye, alligator. We're gonna go over here. Already another one? I think we were in the swamp or something with all these alligators around. Shark's propensity to clear the ocean of its assorted detritus is one of their most valuable functions. Ooh, a sculpture. Beauregard was the Rodan of the Bayou, but Beauregard was functionally illiterate and had no idea who Rodan was. <laughs> I don't know who Rodan is. Sunken truck. 
that's no good. I'd say if you're just getting started in the game, it's a good thing to remember this. If you skim up on top and just dodge, you travel around really quick. I really recommend it, especially if you've got gators chasing you or something like that. It's a huge tip. This is the closest we've gotten. It's got no tail. There we go. Now down below, down uh, by our leveling thing, it does say we need to visit the grotto. So let's grab this. I used to buy sunshine sunscreen until I read it contains seven hormone disrupting chemicals and palm oil. And palm oil. Go back to the grotto, which we should be able to fast travel to. Makes it easy. This protein supplement has zero additives, so the shark doesn't have to worry about hitting artificial colors or flavors. And just like that, we are now a teen, no longer a pup. We can do the tail whip now, which is pretty cool. Look at that. Yeah, boy. Good looking pup. Now a teen. We're good looking teen. Don't say that in public. People might uh, think some things about you. Unless you're also a teenager, then I guess that's fine. But let's go ahead, make our way over to the new grotto. And we'll have two fast travel points that we can travel back and forth to. Yeah, boy. So this is where you get a little bit more of the storyline here, because as you can see, there's like an open nuclear reactor down here. So if you see things in the future or if you've seen things about this game and wondered why they're like crazy, like almost Godzilla like sharks, it's all because of this. It's because there is this nuclear reactor here. We're getting some nuclear mutations like Godzilla or like a Kaiju or something like that. So we are getting these crazy power ups that a normal shark wouldn't get, which is kind of cool. I, I think that's a cool little, uh, I don't know. I don't want to call it realistic, but we've already bought into the whole Godzilla thing. So why not buy into a mutated shark? I guess over the wall. Oh boy, we can jump high, man. And we have made it. The shark returns to the ground to focus on personal transformation. Very nice. Got some flamingos, some fishing nets. It's so crazy how like this is all trash and dirty and gross, but at the same time, so beautiful. You know what I mean? Oh, it's a pretty game, man. Well, Captain mostly, Eyeliner. The friendly face of Captain Winky's fish and chips. In real life, the pirate was a genocidal monster who murdered and enslaved thousands. Uh, humans. He got the humans. Flamingo Joes. I love how if you jump up here, like everyone just kind of yells and screams. No one does anything. Because maybe they're all they're all intoxicated. That's the real story. That's the real story, kids. If you're worried about getting eaten by sharks, don't get intoxicated. We all learned something today. Got a little roasted there. A little roasted human. Drunk dude. Does that mean we also get intoxicated? It does, doesn't it? Got ya! We're gonna have to jump up here. Dude, oh, oh my god, we ate that dude's leg off. <laughs> oh boy, now we've got some attackers. Oh, we've got our first attackers here. Some jet ski hunters. Buy you willy. All right. Oh. The scourge of the swampland. Buy you willy. I feel like there's definitely some ex-girlfriends out there of Bayou Willie that are really looking forward to that dude dying. As you can imagine, a dude on the back of a jet ski is not going to live long, especially when the guy that was driving the jet ski is now dead. So let's just end Bayou Willie here. <laughs> and that's the thing I also love about this game. They don't like try to be like, you know, it's a human. He's super tough. You're a shark and it takes 40 bites to kill the guy. No, it's it's very realistic. You go up there, you grab him, you take him underwater, he's dead. That, that was the boss. You just need to kind of get to that point where you can grab him off of there. But we've unlocked a bioelectric evolution, which is kind of our first taste into some of these mutations that are gonna take us closer to being this Godzilla-like shark, which I really love. So let's go ahead and eat the rest of Bayou Willie here. 
<laughs> uh, we have five more humans to eat. Come here, you. One more to go. One more to go. We need one more. Kind of regular there. There we go. Jules. Jump out of the water. Let's go. <laughs> and if we stay out of reach long enough, they'll stop searching for us. Fantastic. Where we can get the bioelectric teeth. And we can upgrade them if we want to, because we got enough of the uh, oil, I guess. The oil. So instead of doing two damage in one stun counter, we'll do uh, four damage in one stun counter on anything within two and a half meters. If we bite them ten times, they're stunned. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. As you get enough mutations and stuff like that, you put on a lot of stun counters really quickly to the point where they're like stunned within like two seconds of fighting them. It really is a unique build, that's for sure. But there are more builds than just this electric teeth. And I'm really looking forward to doing more of that in the future, in these future videos. So if you've enjoyed this one so far, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. We've got lots more Gaming Month videos coming in the future for the month of January. And I'm really looking forward to beating this game all in one playlist, everyone. Should be a lot of fun. I hope you are looking forward to it. If you want to join us in our live streams every Monday, Wednesday 7 30 to 9 30 p.m. Central make sure you do so otherwise we'll see you in the next episode everyone take care and as always remember everyone we're one planet one family game on